Hello Dragon Gate Network, welcome back to our series where we revisit some of the famous or infamous matches in Dragon Gate or Toriyama Japan history. Today we go back to August 2015, Dangerous Gate 2015 from Oda City General Gymnasium. It was a five on five unit disbands match between Matt Blanky and the Jimmies. Yes. At that time you were mm. Genki Horiguchi H -J, H J G Me. Me. Yes. And you were teaming with Jimmy Susumu, Saito, Jimmy, Jimmy GM Ryo. Yeah, GM Ryo, yeah. Not GM Ryo. Yeah. Jimmy Ryo. GM Ryo. GM Ryo. Jimmy Kanda and Mr. QQ, Toyonaka Dolphin, Tanazaki, Naoki Tanazaki. <laughs> Long name. Long name. Uh, and on the Mad Blanky side, it was Naruki Doi, Yamato, Cyber Kong, Problem Dragon, and Kuness. So this match came about. Actually, about 10 days before this, there was a three. Yes, yes. Mad Blanky versus the Jimmies versus mm -hmm. a unit called the Millennials, mm -hmm. a unit that had Eita, UT, Yosuke Santa Maria, yeah. among others. And the Millennials lost that match, mm -hmm. and they were forced to break up. Mad Blanky, on the roll, feeling the momentum, oh. they took out the Millennials, and uh, it was time to end the Jimmies. Yes, no, and uh, I forget that Mad Blanky, eh? The, this member, eh? Doi Yamato, mm. Cyber Kong, Kunes, Mondai. Chapter 3. Mondai. Yeah, Mondai. Yeah, Mondai. Yeah, Mondai. <laughs> original Mad Blanky. So, in the Unicara Yero, man. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I remember. And, uh. So, I, I was at this show. I had moved to Japan in 2015. Oh, you were in the audience. In Japan. I was in the audience for this, and I was surrounded. Everybody around me had yellow mm. Mad Blanky t shirts. Yeah. So, Mad Blanky is the, the heel mm. unit, but that version of Mad Blanky was very, very popular. Ah. But the Jimmies. Yes. So, Jimmies and the unit are in a very, very long time, man. Six mm. years. Six years. Yes. And, and an old member and a very, very friend. Yes. Yes. It was essentially you know, the Torimon Japan second and third mm -hmm. classes. Yes. Everybody debuted around the same time, plus uh, Tanizaki. But you know, the Jimmy's maybe the most beloved unit in Dragon Gate mm. history. But at this time, Mad Blanky and the Jimmy's formed at the same time. Uh, yeah. Mad Blanky was, I think, March 1st, and the mm -hmm. Jimmy's were like March 5th in Osaka in 2012. So um, we, we spoiled the results of the match by saying the Jimmy's oh. were around for six years. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, oh, have you ever seen this match? Yeah. We have. We have. Do you remember this, this match? I remember this match. <laughs> what, 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 are your, what are your memories of this match? I remember this match. Matt Blanky got... Can we say that here? <laughs> well, well, what I remember was the ending. To yes. This is, and uh, you read the list of names. Naruki Doi, Yamato, Cyber Kong, Problem Dragon, Kuness. Yes. And uh, when you think about mm, relationships and um, friendships, uh -huh. Kuness doesn't fit with those, with those names. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe that's a spoiler for what happens in the match. But, <laughs> it is something uh, interesting, though. But um, really interesting. I think this, you know, the unit disbands matches. That is the ultimate stipulation in Dragon mm. Gate because units in Dragon Gate mm. is every that's your family. Yeah. So if you have a unit, that's who you travel with, that's who mm -hmm. you train with, that's who you team with every night. So having your unit disbanded, you lose your place. Mm. You lose your family. So this is really the ultimate stipulation match we can have, and I think this is the most famous one in Dragon Gate history. So, Kunes, so very, very long time before, so same in Mexico City, mm -hmm. young, young boy, is training it is with the same thing. So, Kenneth said, come here, James. James. Sure. Yes. So, fans, I hope you enjoy it. Again, this is August 16th, 2015, Dangerous Gate 2015, Mad Blanky versus Jimmy's 5 on 5, Unit, sur unit Disbands Survival Elimination Match. Okay, welcome to the latest entry in our series where we take a look at the famous or infamous matches in Dragon Gate Torimon Japan history. Today we are going back to August of 2015. This is a losing unit must disband survival elimination match. The Jimmies 
Yeah, it's a 5-1-5. Genki Horiguchi, H.A. Jimmy, Jimmy Kanda, Jimmy Susumu, Ryo Jimmy Saito, and Mr. QQ. Toyonaka Dolphin, Naoki Tanazaki. They are facing Mad Blanky, Yamato, Cyber Kong, Problem Dragon, Naruki Doi, and Kuness. So the I, I, was, I was at this show. Oh, is it? Actually. So the loser of this match is gonna... The losing unit has to disband that. Yeah, and this is an elimination match. El elimination, pinfall submissions only. So they gotta that take it out one by be, one. Team, you have to be, your team has to be exterminated because your unit is going to be exterminated, essentially. So this match came about, about 10 days prior to this, in Corican Hall, there was a three-way match. It was a Jimmy's Mad Blanky, and there was a third unit called the Millennials. The Millennials had Eita, Yosuke Santa Maria, UT, among others. And the Millennials were defeated in that match. They were forced to disband. And Mad Blanky, feeling they were on a roll, challenged for this match. Jimmy's and Mad Blanky both formed at essentially the same time. It was March of 2012 that the that both sides officially started as a unit. But whereas the Jimmy's were essentially unchanged since their start. They started, it was Jimmy Kagetora, Jimmy Susumu. That uh, original origin of the Jimmys, those two lost a match to Akira Tozawa, BB Hulk, and were forced to be renamed from Sui Yokosuka and Kagetora to Jimmy Susumu and Jimmy Kagetora. Jimmy being kind of a play on a word in Japanese, Jimmy meaning plain or simple. That, you know, Susumu and Kagetora, there's nothing spectacular about them. But rather than take it as an insult, they accepted it, they embraced it. They added Horiguchi, they added Kanda, added Saito, and then later on Tanizaki joined. Whereas Mad Blanky, this is a very different incarnation of Mad Blanky than the version that came together in 2012. The original version of Mad Blanky was BB Hulk, Akira Tozawa, yeah. who else? Cyber Kong. Um, a fake version of Naoki Tanizaki. So that, you know, that version, Cyber Kong is actually the only one left. Cyber Kong had been kicked out and brought back into the unit multiple times in between now and then. So in the interim, Yamato joined, Naruki Doi joined, Problem Dragon came in, switching from his Super Shenlong character. Now the interesting person in this match is Kuness. Kuness actually joined Mad Blanky. There was a Doi Darts. Do you know Doi Darts is? Yeah, every year. Yeah. So there was an extra Doi Darts at the end of 2014. Yeah. Mad Blanky had their injury problems, so they only had four members. So they did a Doi Darts draft where members of the, at that time, defunct Team Veteran had to join, and it was Shima, Gamma, Don Fuji, and Kuness. All were forced to join Mad Blanky for the first half of 2015. After a certain point, all of them were kicked out. Ooh. But <laughs> Kness said, look, I'm having too much fun doing this. I'm going to stay. So he ended up being the only one that stayed. So this match starts. This is at Dangerous Gate 2015. So they are brawling all around. This is Ota City Gym. Yuki Yoshioka Arch. Ar <laughs> but there is a young boy. That's one of the one of the interesting things about watching matches from before is that uh, spotting a, a lot of the little incidental things around ringside. Yeah. It's, uh, like I said, I was at this show, so you could actually probably spot me. Where do you see it? 
Oh, and now they've got uh, throw. Doi has got Susumu up on the apron, up on the the balcony. Yeah, they're gonna throw him down the balcony. You know, the unit disbands matches. This is one of the another one of our trademark oh. trademark stipulation matches here in Dragon Gate. You know, our everything oh. around here is based so much around the unit battlefield yeah. and all the feuds and the, the things that go on between different units, and that forcing a, an opposing unit to disband is essentially the you know, it's the last step, it's the last resort. You know, accepting this sort of match is, you know, it's not a decision to be taken lightly, and that's why these matches usually have those stipulations where it's only pinfall or submission to make sure that when the match ends, it ends, you know, there's no flukes, there's no over the top rope, there's no disqualifications, there's no count outs, you know, it's, you can see here, I mean, they've been brawling on the floor for a long period of time. There's no, this isn't gonna go to a double count out, there's not gonna be a no contest. And the, the fact that this is the the second unit to spans match in the st in, within the span of 10 days that both of the, these two teams competed in, You know, it's not just physically, but it's got to be you know, mentally taxing. Mm. Not just on the wrestlers, but on the fans. You got to think. <laughs> oh, and here's the the original M2K double team. Kamikaze into diving elbow drop. Whoa! Uh, something's Side never changed. <laughs> And uh, Tanizaki, Re reverse implant, spikes Dragon, and get well, they got here. It's Yamato. Yamato and Naruki Doi at this time were open the Twin Gate champions. Ooh, four way drop kick. Five way drop kick. It's a five way. Yeah. Doi and Yamato were in the middle of their record setting reign as Twin Gate champions. Ooh. Jimmy's teamwork. Drop kick. Maraha. Isapa. Ooh. Ah, oh, Cyber Kong. Cyber Kong, double pineapple bomber. He's gonna throw. He is gonna. He, Ooh. He's got Tanizaki over his head. Why? Oh, him on to their own teammate. But. No over the top rope eliminations not in play in this match. So it's gonna put him back in. Painful submission. So you might be wondering why Tanizaki has a really long name in this match. Yeah. So I you know I mentioned at the at the top of this that the original version of Mad Blanky had a fake Naoki Tanizaki. Yeah. So, obviously, uh, that created problems, and that had to lead to a match where they had to resolve who the real Naoki Tanizaki was. And the real one lost. So he had to change his name from, uh, from Naoki Tanizaki to Mr. QQ Toyonaka Dolphin. QQ being the sound that dolphins make when they cry. The dolphin makes out? According to the fake Naoki Tanizaki, yes. And Toyonaka is his hometown, so he is the dolphin from Toyonaka that cries a lot. However, in the interim, he ended up did winning another match, getting his name back, but he ended up gaining a lot of fan support under the Mr. QQ name, so he kept it as kind of his nickname. I think Yamato changed a lot, like the last, this is 2015. This is 2015. Care. So it's only like 
eight years ago. Ooh. This was a, we, we're recording this. It's uh, we're recording this in 2023. So yeah. Yeah, it's fans fans that have been watching might have this version of Yamato is the one that was over in Ryukyu Dragon Pro Wrestling earlier this year as their yeah. champion. When we talk about the the evil Yamato and the super babyface Yamato, this is the, this was the evil Yamato. By this time, he was already a three-time Open the Dream Gate champion. Sorry, but calm. We all know who he is now. Well, we all know who he is, <laughs> and they didn't realize he was just as loud back then as he is now. Often right now. You know what was really interesting about this being being at this show as a fan that you know, Mad Blanky were the I mean they were the 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 villain group yeah. villain unit here in Dragon Gate for at this point it had been just over three years but the fan support was split completely right down the middle you know the Jimmies were of course one of the mo one of the most beloved units yeah. in Dragon Gate history but. Mad Blanky, in terms of popularity, I think a lot of people still consider them to be the pinnacle of villain units in Dragon Gate, not just on their on their accomplishments in the ring, but in terms of popularity, entrance music, the visual aspect of it. You know, they had a very striking color scheme with the black, yellow, and red. of where I was sitting, there was a row of people in front of me all wearing yellow Mad Blanky shirts. Ooh. Just how many uh, supporters they got. Tanisaki, it's been yeah, he's been in there for, 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 for forever. A while at this point. An another thing to note about this match yeah. is Jimmy's had one more member. They had, Kage Toro was still a member of Jimmy's at this time, but he was open the Brave Gate champion. Or was he challenging for the Brave Gate? And he was challenging for the Brave Gate. Ooh. Well, here's a, this is this is why he kept the Mr. QQ part of his name, even after he won the rights to his real name back. Because it's a great pro wrestling chant is why he kept it. <laughs> now he got the ten. Oh, Yamato. That's always. Ooh. Ooh! Wow, who's that? Oh, that is Punch. Punch Tominaga. So the, re the reason I brought up Kage having ah. other things to do is Mad Blanky had the man advantage in this match by having Punch at ringside. Oh, neckbreaker drop from Kness. Ooh! Brainbuster from Tanizaki there. And finally able to make the tag, but he gets cut, swarmed immediately by 
From that blanky side. Boom! Oh. No. Jumbos for all, but Cyber Kong. Pow, pow, pow. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Kanda. Ooh. Elbow Suicida from Kanda. Topic to wheel from Horiguchi. And now he, Saito has got Cyber Kong. Saito goes too much weight there. Saito actually once did a, a parody character of Cyber Kong called Cyber Ryo that was really popular. Ooh. Cyber Kong did not like it one bit though. Second rope. Ooh. Oh, fly close line. <laughs> did he say Jack Hammer? Yeah, don't, don't, need to, don't need to call it. He did it for us. Yeah. Set him up for the power bomb. Saito Ryu. No. Hang, hang on a second. Ooh. He's not gonna do it. Do you think? Fisherman suplex. Yes. Actually, well, probably Fisherman Buster. It's your move. Oh! Whoa. What do you think? Can you do, can you do that to, to, Ka to Kashi Yoshida? Yeah, I'll do it. Cycling Yaho. Ooh. He's just gotta gotta get the arm. Ooh. It's locked in. Ah, not for long. Too, too quick. <laughs> Two way. Uh, ooh. Yeah, Kong double teams don't work, but like, Dragon somehow in the mix. Ooh. Oh. Oh. DH from Tanazaki. Problem Dragon. Is it trouble? Ooh. Oh, Casanova. Oh, oh kicks prob out. Problem Dragon almost eliminated. Tanazaki thinking implant, but. Ooh. Now he's got the legs hooked. Implant, oh, the Mad Blanky's got the. Ooh. Mad Blanky has the referee distracted. Yellow box from Kuness. Oh, oh, thunder. And a pineapple bomber for good That's measure. Gonna... Tanizaki is eliminated. So that box attack from Kuness is something to remember. We'll talk about it later. But keep that in mind. Now, John Woo. Woo. Boom! Kanda! Poking both arms! No! Oh, it, schoolboy! One yeah, more time! This would give Mad Blanky a five on three advantage. Ooh! Oh, I didn't get him though. Jumwoo! No, he got the Jumwoo! That's the Jumwoo with the Jumbo from. Sumu helping out in the reuse. Problem Dragon Man, is out. Old. We are it's back to old. four on yeah. four. Ooh, boom. Top rope exploder. Wow. Oh. 
Saito. Ryosuke team uh -oh. there, but Cybercom <laughs> threw him into the turnbuckle. Ooh, Pineapple Bomber at short range. John Woo. One more time, John Woo. Into a brick wall, He's though. Pineapple Bomber. Boom! Sliding short, Yukiaku. And Doi. Bak Bakatari sliding kick. What a. Kanda is out after what a flurry of offense. Swan 3 now. Leaving it to Sumu. Saito Ryu and. Uh, who's that? It's Horiguchi, yeah. It's Horiguchi. Saito and Susumu, yes, against Cyber Kong, Yamato, oh, Doi, and blocks. Kines. No! Blocks Hold on! Steiner. Whoa! That's, that's why it's called a power bomb. Ooh. Bad Blanky really starting to get into their rhythm. They're calling Cyber Go from the top rope. Super heavyweight flying elbow. Still kicks out, Horiguchi. Let's begin XAGE call, and we got this in backslide. Back from heaven. No, backslide Swing times. Around. The other side. Back again. No. And. Cyber Kong is out. Ah. Shoryu Kyaku from Kunes. Oh, now Kuneska going at it. Jumping high kick. Kurashaku blocked. Block again. Ah. Ness was in great shape here. This is a, he was entering bodybuilding contests. Ooh. The challenge for the Brave Gate Championship. Oh. He's under Hikari ah. Hikarinawa. But Sumu counters. Ah, he got it! When you wrestle your longtime partner, you know, you've got to come up with something new. because he's going to be ready for all your usual stuff, and that's what uh, Kunes just found out there. And now they've eliminated Kunes, and they got Yamato on hand, Horiguchi, and Susumu. Ooh! Ooh, Ooh. Kota Kota Hospital, too, in the far corner. Yamato. Doi and Yamato. Hey, maybe another. Susumu Saito and Horiguchi. <laughs> Counter backslide from heaven. Ooh. You can see ah. the, uh, the desperation on Horiguchi's face, though, as he just ran into the Galeria and he is out. down to Doyama versus Ryosuka. Ooh, rolling elbow. Slips out of the dragon suplex. Ah! Referee didn't see it. Frankensteiner. Oh, power. no! Ooh. Oh, Dragon Suplex released. One more time. Gonna hold the bridge this time. Ooh, Yamato still able to kick out. Two Dragon Suplexes in the row. What's in his eyes? 
across the Saito arms. Ryu. Go for the double cross. Poking it out on the shoulder. Yamato Yamato turned it into a turned it into a sleeper though. I'm gonna put him in sleep. Still far away from the rope then. Uh oh. No. And another Galeria, but Saito. Ah, on the top. Boom. <laughs> Doi's in the ring now. Doi. Doi's got the silver, the silver hair for this match. That's the silver hair came out for the, ah. the biggest of occasions. Oh. <laughs> Doi just slipped. <laughs> this is, it doesn't matter though, they're still able to finish the double team. Oh, no way. Suzumu making that save. He's down on a two on two. Whoa! Go to the hospital on the other side. Bakatari sliding kick, and that's going to put away Saito. And now, Jimmy Susumu finds himself alone with the reigning Twin Gate champions. Go on to have the greatest Yamato. Twin Gate title reign of all time. Naruki Toy, two on one right now. Susumu is not in a very good position. Remember, loser of this match. The unit yeah. is going to disband. The unit is finished. And your Matt Blanky, March 1st, 2012 is when they came together. That was essentially, they had previously been a part of a unit called Blood Warriors. But new leadership took over, changed the name. Yeah. It was just a few days late. March f that March 1st was in Corican Hall. A few days later at the Champion Gate in Osaka when the full unit version of the Jimmies got their start. So again, just three days apart. Ooh. Going for the bucket oh. tie. Jumbo holds the pin. No! Wow! Oh, that was almost the end of the Jimmies. Now jump. V9 clutch. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Wipes him out with the jumbo and Doi eliminated. Hey. And we are down to one on one Yamato and Susumu. Final one-on-one. On one. Three count away from disbanding one of them. Yamato's eyes. Time with the run up. Gets into an elbow though. Boom! <laughs> Steel kicks it out. This is 
Sumo, what about? What? Wow, I don't know what word to use now. <laughs> Yes, at, at it this up. point, the fans around me yeah. were crying. Crying? Due to, the, due to the stress and the emotion of this. We still don't know who's going to disband yet, yeah, and they start crying. I, re I remember looking back, there was a, a younger, fa a younger big Ata fan sitting behind me. Ooh! Literally on the edge of her seat with tears in her eyes. Sleeper hole. Susumu just a few, st just one step away from the rope. Away, but that, yeah, it's, it's a it's a step too far. <laughs> Sleeper suplex. <laughs> Spikes him with the brain buster. Susumu. Gonna put him in a. No way. Finish him Shake off. Shake it with, out. Finish him Shake off it out, Susumu. Yamato can't hit it because. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, Kuness uh, from Kuness. behind. Outside interference. Now, again, remember Kuneska. Oh, no. Nope. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Betrayal at the last minute. Whoa! Kuneska, the bonds of brothers, unbreakable. Ooh, ah. Using a move of Miso. He calls that ah. Galeria-esque. Running up, and boom. Jumbo. Had Blanky have been disbanded. Betrayal in the closing minutes by Kuness. That. So, you know, after this, so Mad Blanky's disbanded. And you might be wondering why Kuness did this. Yeah. That, that, you know, he said he didn't have any intention. When he came into this match, he had no intention of betraying Mad Blanky. He had he'd been enjoying his time with Mad Blanky. He was having a lot of fun. But as he stood on the floor and watched the match progress, he just, something compelled him. You know, there's a... Something in his soul, both him and Susumu, Kuneska, you know, when they're in the same room together, things just happen spontaneously. Mm -hmm. and he said, you know, felt like he was, it was an out-of-body experience. He was looking at himself, his body was moving without him even knowing what he was doing. So in the post-match here, Kuness would end up going on, he would join... Join the Jimmys, but he's gonna get he's gonna hear it from Naruki Doi first. <laughs> so at this point, you know, Mad Blanky, they go through and ask Kness, you know, what are you what are you doing? But either so, if you want to watch the full version of this, uh, head on back out, go on the. Full show is on the Dragon Gate Network. You can go and watch all this. We're gonna, we have limited time, so we gotta talk, I have to talk over this. Yeah. So, 
the remnants of Mad Blanky. In the main event of this match, Shingo Takagi won the Open the Dreamgate Championship, but he got kicked out of Monster Express, the unit he was a part of. So the remnants of Mad Blanky came together with Shingo. They formed a unit called Berserk. Kunest went on to join the Jimmies, but remember that box shot that he gave Tanizaki earlier in this match that I told you to remember. Tanizaki was not willing to accept Kunest into the Jimmy, so he himself went on to join Berserk. And that was uh, the, the rest of 2015, but that is all a story for another time. So we will see you again, and maybe we will talk about something else. Yep. Dragon Gate Network!